Walsh shirt front as Walsh filed cannons into his opponent. Likes to measure things to organise down goes Hawking. Williams flattened. Back into the square. Can anyone get a run at it? Brereton waits down and may have to try and sock it. He's hammered over the line. The umpire's calling play on. And up towards centre wing. Oh, gee, down goes Fraser. Another chance for the Lions. It bounces through the pack. Matthews cleaned up once, cleaned oh. up twice. Goes with a high kick up towards Madra and McIntyre. That the end of the most great ball. Really looking for something to happen. And Jessalenko's right in the centre there. Uh, down goes uh, David Dench with Jackson. Ooh. Have you played that? Greg on the centre wing for North Melbourne. Whoops, and it's on. Cousins in there. The far away number three. I wouldn't argue now you got the fall. Oh, oh, we saw that. Oh, he gets his knee into uh, Scotty there on the ground. You can see that. Oh, it might have been the foot. Or oh, dropping his head at the last moment then was Roberts. He was, on, was in front, however. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Did we see right then, Ray? I thought, <laughs> actually, when I was... Oh, he oh, just oh, whacked oh, the oh. umpire. Hey. Oh, no. That's unbelievable. Oh, boy. Well, that, this is sensational. That, the umpire has gone down. Hughes going after two with uh, Walsh. Oh, he got into his back. It could be a free kick to Walsh. The umpire coming across to have a chat to him. Staggered Walsh. Knocking up Collingwood's way. Francis collected by Laidley. Lance an opportunity. It's getting very willing now. There's going to be an Eagles free oh, kick. And it's on again. As Lawrence Shackey prepares to uh, take his place on the field. Oh, that's a bit ordinary. Oh, that's pretty ordinary there from Peter Dacos. Just dropping into uh, Johnny Gaston's head. Can't take the mark. Now it's Steve Wallace for Footscray. Here's Trenio. Oh, what about that? Oh, boy, you saw it. Ryan McKenna in towards centre wing and Craig Turley. Back to Kemp. The tremendous pressure being applied by Hawthorne as Deer goes over the top of Kemp. Corsho, who was outbodied on that occasion by Alessio, couldn't take the mark and has given away the free kick. Rose kicks inside the 50. Mitten oh. Connell, clever mark. Yeah. Oh. oh, there's 50 metres. Wow. Well, well, 50 well, well. metres, come on up. He drifts it up towards uh, Camparelli territory. Swass is with him, fairly at the back. Camparelli quick to recover. Yes, he booted three goals uh, in that second term, and Barnes Ooh, takes oh, a pretty good in. grab. Yeah. Is that a free kick to McKinnon anyway? Archer's incensed at the moment. Taylor, White will drop into the hole. Oh, great courage again. Steve hurt. Lawrence, this time he's hurt. Let's have a look at uh, Dean Wallace and Aaron Hamill. And now he's got him in a headlock. The ball is in there somewhere, and there'll be a bounce. Oh! oh gee, that looked a uh, rather indiscriminate attack on the body by Mercedes. Wiley. Oh! Gee! Down goes Wiley. Straight into the goalpost. Hacking up Wallace Smith. And Smith's oh. got the ball. Oh, he's fumbled the ball out there, and the ball is up there towards that wing position, but it'll be out of bounds. I think uh, Niger went to the fence that time. Oh, let's see whether he's hurt. He's got, he got the top part of the advertisement. That's a nasty one. Oh, the post is broken. Matthews hit it and broke the point post. <laughs> oh, talk about a he-man. How was that? He split it right down in half. <laughs> a fantastic effort by Lee Matthews. Coming out to meet it now is Mitchell, but he and Steele can't go. Oh, there's Mitchell going right over the stand. That was a real acrobatic turn there, Peter. Ross running away from his own goal. Well played, McCarthy. A couple of strong shepherds, and he was hurt. McCarthy is hurt. Down goes another North Melbourne player. That's Crocker. Murphy doing well also. There's a kick at goal. It might bounce through. Oh, what a kick from Murphy. Eagles looking very, very good. The kick out towards Lewis. Lewis underneath it. They race out of Peter Warsfold. will take it to the boundary line. Oh, he goes into the fence. He oh. might get a free kick here. Peter Warsfold, I think he'll get a free kick against Lewis, who's just back from suspension. Reynolds dragged off the kick. It floats down to oh. oh. Ballantyne. Oh. Point from 80 metres. A long kick. Can Satori get back there? Oh! oh he crashes into the goalpost. Ablett will be his man. Ablett and Brennan. They're at each other. Ablett. Oh, he's crunched into that goal post and he's hurt. He's hurt. He's back. He's kicked a 
goal, Sandy, but he is in big trouble, Gary Ablett. From 60, Ablett and Pert. Pert gets back there and hits the behind oh, post. And he's hurt, Gary Pert. Socket off the ground by one goal, Gallup. Big Ilya, can you do it again? One behind. I think he's hit his head against the goal post. I hope he's all right. Armstrong, probably another mark. Should have taken. Bickley went into an open goal. He's oh. taken. He's been shoved right in the middle of the back team, the umpire, and a free kick to Mark Bickley, who's crashed into the goal post. We'll use his pace here, Lockett in pursuit. They try and clean him up. Simons, Lockett still going with Fletcher. Oh, careful, boys. Oh, that's a bit... He's, he's all right. He's, sort of, he's done well. Games off the Patterson. This looks promising. Pulls the kick. Oh, oh God, look at that behind post. And he does not blink an eyelid. Straight to Keogh, who sets out for goal, brings it in, and puts it through and lays it the goal post. Probably run to the boundary line this ball. It does. Ekamanis wants a free kick, boundary throw in. In turn, to help himself, and then that kick was close to the line, but it's a free kick because the tackle on Patterson was deemed as illegal. Oh. As the rain begins to fall, can he take on McCurdan? A show of streets down there. King gets buffeted into the turf and is rather slow to get up. About a six count, and he doesn't look good. Kick up towards the 50. White. Ooh. Put into the fence by Dean Wallace. Scott's kick bouncing, bouncing. Crashing in there is Viney. He's the spirit of Melbourne. A great play by Byron Pick, and he took it upon himself to go and meet the contest, and that's the reason why it went out of bounds. Away from him, then the back will be played to. Uh... Crosswell, a good piece of football. Great mark taken out there by uh, Pennell. Oh, it'll be up the field. It's all the beauty! Down he went. Oh, TV rings high. Yeah, but I think it's a bit late. They won't make the five, will they, Al? And the free kick will go, it looks like, to Dennis Banks, about 20 metres out from goal. Yes. Oh! Oh, you saw that on your screen. I don't know what happened, but the umpire's taking out the... The book. Fire calls play on. Cracker picks up. Well tackled. Holding the ball. Oh, oh down with us and killed a player there too. Robbers the punt kick to centre field. In front of Crack. Oh, he's fifth to Fitzroy. Go right in the eye. And the umpire has called the advantage rule. The box on behind play. Reese Jones is into it out there with somebody. I can't pick who he is. Tuck. Players now set up. Oh, just eight players in a dust up. Not before he goes over the top looking for Francisco. He's been reported. Oh, Reese Jones just came in. And oh, they're having a go a now. Slip. As he slipped, was when Reese Jones did the damage. He did bounce it. They're still out of feet down there. Now oh, they've ne got up a bounce. Neagle, Neagle and Reese Jones, and there's no love. Oh, there. Reese Jones. Oh, then he gave him one back. Reese oh. Jones tangles with love. A bit of a box on between Ayers and uh, Reese Jones. Well, Reece, the, the book's coming is already out. getting the book out. It looks as though Reese Jones could be a He's book. gone. And by a boundary umpire. What a sensation. Oh, trying to get it to Berenden. Oh, hit hard by Reece Jones. That's it. And have a look down here. There's a fight on before the match. Extraordinary scenes at the MCG. There's a blue before the match. And they're into it left, right and centre. There's Kelly and Danaher now. The Collingwood players were forced to run through the banner at an odd angle because the banner had arrived late. The Essendon players were congregated nearby. And have a look on the bottom of this. Where it looks as if a couple of uh, players, one from Essendon and one from Collingwood, are at it. Now, Jared Healy, did you, uh, did you just cop anything there when I was looking at the ladder? Well, I did see Hardwick come uh, running in, uh, throwing a few fisty cuffs, but it just augurs well for a good game, Bruce, does it, with both sides so uh, spirited. Of course, they did clash in a memorable grand final there in 1990 when Collingwood pipped them. Collingwood, of course, settled down better after the, uh, the blow.